Hi guys, welcome to Pilates with Henna and today is a booty day. The workout is going to be intensive and it's going to target all the muscles on your butt. So after that, you're going to feel that your butt is so much more toned and lifted. So when you're ready, just roll out your mat and let's begin. Alright, so let's begin with the own form position. Open your arms, shoulder apart, your legs hip width apart, belly button in and pull your shoulder far away from your ears. Now, inhale, tuck your feet and exhale slowly. I want you to lift your knees up and bring it down. Squeeze your inner thighs together and squeeze your butt together. Lift and bring it down. Six more times with your own breath. Five, four, three, two, and last time, bring it down, articulate your spine, push your shoulder down, look up to the ceiling, inhale, and exhale, chin your chest, round your spine up, belly button in, and a couple more times, sit with your own breath, in four, keep breathing, three, when you round your spine, I want you to squeeze your inner thighs, and squeeze your butt, shoulder down again, and chin to chest two more times keep breathing and last time and round and bring it back to the center now from here i want you to keep your heels and your knees together again eyes on elbows facing each other and push your shoulder far away from your ears now tuck your feet inhale lengthen your leg and then dorsiflex activate your foot here now slowly bring your knee to the side and come back. Bring your knee to the side and lift it up and to your right and lift it up. Pull your belly button in. And we try to do it five more times with your own breath. So we're gonna do it total 10 times for each side. And two. And last time, lift and bring it down to the other side. Bring your leg to the side and then come back, lift and to the side and lift and make sure you keep the same angle on your knee here. Try to feel balance on your shoulder, pull your belly button in five more times with your own breath and squeeze your butt, squeeze your inner thighs here, contract your pelvic floor muscle if you can. Two. And last time, lift and to your right, lift and bring it down, shake your hips from left to right. Now touch your feet here. I want you to inhale, slowly lengthen your leg to the back, dorsiflex, and start to make a little pulse here with your leg. Inhale deeply and exhale deeply. And a couple more times so with your own breath, belly button in, and eyes and elbows facing each other still. Keep breathing. Don't hold your breath and pull your back. back. Two, and one slowly, bring it down to the other side, lengthen and make sure that you keep your hips parallel and balanced and start to pump your leg. Just a little pause. Belly button in, contract your pelvic floor muscle and squeeze your inner thighs here. And three, two, and one slowly bring it down. Shake it from left to right. Now from here, open your leg here with the part again. Now tuck your feet and inhale. Slowly open your leg to the side and come back. And open to the side and bring it back. So I want you to try to balance all the torso. Only your leg is moving here. And five, four. Three, engage your core. And last time, close. And to the other side, to your left, come back, open, and bring it back. Couple more times, stay with your own breath. Open and exhale back. Use your breath to control the movement. And two, and last time, close, and bring it down, touch your feet. Now come to tripod, take a deep breath, inhale, and exhale. When you're ready, 
allow yourself to come back to own four position tuck your feet and then inhale lift your hips up and exhale shift your hips to the shift your weight to the front hips down knees down and come back bend your knees down to keep your leg parallel here pull your belly button in and we do it six more times with your own breath five squeeze your butt four three two and last time bring it to the front and from here i want you to slowly bring your hips to your right come back to your left and bring it back and make sure you still stabilize your shoulder so your shoulder is on top of your wrist and to your right to your left five more times each side with your own breath engage your core as much as possible also feel your oblique as twisting here in three to your left two to your left and last time to your left and come back to the center bend your knees down and come to dry pose take a deep breath inhale and exhale and when you're ready slowly come back allow yourself to lie down on your stomach now make a pillow under your head your forehead and open your legs hip width apart here now inhale squeeze your butt your sitting bone i want you to squeeze it to make it closer to each other squeeze in the thighs pull your belly button in and press your shoulder towards your hips here now inhale lift your leg up and exhale bring it down activate your feet lift and down keep breathing inhale up and exhale down to your left into your right and to your left i want you to squeeze in the thighs to make it connect to each other good and to your right to your left and few more times with your own breath scapula down shoulder press it down towards your hips and engage your core to protect your lower back two to your left and last time to your left and bring it down now i want you to inhale and bring it leg up now open your leg here with a part here dorsi flex and inhale open your legs wider come back open and bring it back squeeze your inner thighs scapula down engage your core as much as possible and we try to do it eight more times with your own breath seven six you can do it slower with your breath as long as you feel like it's go with your breath inhale open and exhale close very good and we'll try to do it five four three two and last time slowly bring the legs down activate your feet pull your toes to the front now i want you to inhale bring each leg up again now this time open it hip with the part and try to beat your heels as much as you can in 10 cows and start 10 9 8 engage your core keep breathing don't hold your breath and squeeze your butt here contract your pelvic floor muscle and lengthen engage your core to support your lower back lengthen your legs five four three keep breathing and one bring it down shake your hips from left to right all right now from here i want you to slowly inhale and bend your knee up one leg up and one leg just press it down to the mat so this time inhale lift your leg up and exhale slowly bring it to the side come back bring it to the side bring it back and down inhale open and exhale come back knee to the side and bring it back now i want you to stabilize your hip your hip bones down to the mat stabilize your body all your leg is moving very good three two more times and last time bring it down lengthen to the other side lift and bring it down to the side lift 
and to the side. Inhale. Keep breathing. Press your hip bones down to the mat. And three, two, and last time. Bring it back and down. And lengthen your legs, stretch your hip from left to right. Very good. Now from here, I want you to bend your knees, both knees up, and stick your toes together. Inhale, slowly lift both legs up, and exhale, bring it down. Make sure that you engage your core as much as possible to protect your lower back. Now, try to lift as high as you can. Squeeze your inner thighs, scapula down toward your hips. And five, four, three, two, and last time, bring it down. Open your leg and lengthen. Now from here, I want you to inhale, tuck your feet and lift one leg. Keep your heels and your knees together. Now I want you to engage your core and lift one leg up. Bring it down and keep doing it for 10 times on your right first. Seven, squeeze your butt, squeeze your inner thighs. Four, three, two, and one. Bring it down to the other side. Make sure you engage your core as much as possible. And keep breathing. Five, four, three, two, and last time. Bring it down. Lengthen your feet, lengthen your leg. Shake your hips a little bit here. Now inhale deeply through your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. Now, I want you to keep your hand neck to your chest here. Close your elbows, close your elbows to the back. Now, shoulder down far away from your ears. Open your leg here with a part. And hip bones down to the mat. Lengthen your neck. Inhale, press your torso up. And exhale, bring it down. Your legs up. And bring it down. And lift it up. It looks like the momentum. But then you use your core to control the movement. So when you bring your head down, you can bring your leg up. You can make it very slow, break it down, head down and leg up, and then reverse. Squeeze your butt here, engage your core, and we try to do it five more times with your own breath. Close your elbows to your body, and three, two, and last time, bring it down. Shake your head from left to right. Take a deep breath. Inhale. And exhale. Now bring your hand over your head here. Lengthen your leg. Activate your feet. Inhale. Squeeze your butt. And bring one leg and opposite arm up. Bring it down to the other side. Eight more times with your own breath. Belly button in. Seven. Shoulder far away from your ears. But feel like you lengthen your arms and your leg here. Someone pulling your arm and your opposite leg to the opposite way and far from the center. Very good. And belly button in. Five, four, three. Engage your core as much as possible to make sure that you support the spine here. And don't put a lot of pressure on your lower back. Very good. And last time to your right. Last time to your left. Bring it down. Shake your hips from left to your right. Take a deep breath. Very good. Now from here, slide back your hand to make sure that your shoulder far away from your ears. Look down to the mat. And I want you to always keep lengthen your neck here. Make sure you feel comfortable with your back here. If you feel uncomfortable, you always can bring it down just a little bit more. And then lift your arms and leg up. Press down your shoulder towards your hips. Engage your core as much as possible. And start to pumping your hand and your opposite leg. Like with swimming. 10, 9, 8. Squeeze your inner thighs. Squeeze your butt. Engage your core as much as possible. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Activate your feet. 2, and 1. Slowly. Bring it down, shake your hips from left to right. Now take a deep breath here, inhale, and exhale. All right, now from here, I want you to lean on one side, 
to do side lift. Now lengthen your leg here, straighten your leg, and then shoulder on top of your wrist, pull your belly button in. I want you to keep your hips on hip, not to the front, your hips not to the back. So you just lie straight here, and then bring your hand above your, behind your head here. Now I want you to pull your belly button in, inhale, lift your hips up, and exhale, bring it down. Now lift it up and bring it down, engage your core as much as possible. And now we want to add a little bit movement here. So lift it up and then close and open and come down. Inhale and close and come back, bring it down. So we try to do it a couple more times, take so your own breath. Inhale, exhale, open and down. Inhale, up and close. Exhale, open and down. And two more times. Lift. And last time. Up and bring it down. All right. Now hand on the other hand. I want you to inhale and then slowly lift your hips up and make a little pulse with your hips here. Engage your core as much as possible. And we try to do it five, four, three. Engage your core. And last time, slowly bring it down and to the other side. All right. Now from here, I want you to slowly lengthen your leg and shoulder on top of your wrist. Now hand behind your head here. Inhale, slowly lift your hips up and exhale, bring it down and lift it up and bring it down. And again, I want you to add a little bit movement with your hand here. Close, open and down. And lift, close, squeeze your butt and squeeze your inner thighs here. Engage your core as much as possible. And a couple more times here with your own breath. Three, two, and last time. Lift, open and bring it down. Now hand on hand, inhale, lift your hips up and start to make a little pulse with your hips here. Keep breathing, belly button in, engage your core as much as possible. Three, two, and one, slowly bring it down. Very good. Now come back to on four position and push your shoulder far away from your ears. Eyes on elbows, facing each other. I want to turn to the other side. So pull your belly button in, tuck your feet here. Now slowly inhale, lift your knees up and open your knees to the side. Come back, open and bring it back and make sure that your shoulder on top of your wrist. Engage your core as much as possible. Squeeze your butt here and five. Four, keep breathing, don't hold your breath. Three, two, and last time. Slowly, knees down, take a deep breath. Inhale, and exhale. Very good. Now from here, I want you to bring one leg up. Keep it 90 degree here. Make sure that your hips shape it down to make sure that your hips balance here. Tuck your feet, inhale, and slowly lift your knees up. Bring it down, and lift, and bring it down. Four more times with your own breath. Three, two, and last time. Bring your leg down and to the other side. We try to do it six more times. Activate your feet here. Engage your core and keep your hips balanced. Inhale, lift, exhale down, and lift, and bring it down. Four, three, two, and last time. Knee down and the other knee down, shake your hip a little bit. Now from here, open your leg, hip it apart here. Tuck your feet, inhale, and exhale slowly. Lift your hips up and bring it down. And again, we do it 10 times with your own breath. Squeeze your butt here. Contract your pelvic floor muscle. And five. Squeeze your thighs together. Three. Two, and last time, bring your knees down, take a deep breath, inhale, and exhale. Now, knees and heels together, and then step back, straighten your legs, keep your hips balanced here, and lift your knees up. Now, inhale slowly, I want you to bring your hips to one side, and come back, and to one side, and bring it back. So we only go to one side five times. Three. Two, and last time, bring it back, knee down, 
and bend both knees, straighten the other leg, lift it up, and go to the other side, come back, squeeze, and bring it back. And last time, slowly knee down, the other leg down, and come to try pose, take a deep breath, inhale, and exhale. All right, and when you're ready, I want you to stand up. Now from here, bring your arms to the front, open your left hip with the pass, sit on your knees here. Now inhale, shoulder down, press it back to open your chest, and belly button in, lift your hips up, squeeze your butt, and bring it down. Engage your core as much as possible. And five, four, three, and one, slowly down. Now again, I want you to stand up on your knee here. Open your leg here with the part. Now, bring your arms to the front. Slide out to open your chest. Pull your belly button in. Inhale, slowly lean backward. Inhale your core and exhale, come back. I want you to squeeze your butt together. Keep the sitting bone close to each other. Inhale, shoulder down, lean backward. Squeeze your butt and come back. Now, inhale down and then bend your knees down. Sit down, come back and straighten and bring it back to the center. Now lean backward, your body is still straight and then bend your hip down, sit on your heels, lift it up again and bring it back. So we try to do it five more times. Knees down, lift and come back. Backward, bend your knee down, sit and lift and come back. So we do it three more times with your own breath. Good. Two. Engage your core as much as possible. And do it slowly with your own breath. Squeeze your butt together. And last time. Very good. And bring it back. Come to own four position here. Eyes and elbows facing each other and move back your knees so your shoulder on top of your knees. I mean your hips on top of your knees and your shoulder on top of your wrist. Now tuck your feet here. Inhale, slowly lift your knees up. And then this time, I want you to hold it here. Lift one leg up. Bring your knee to your elbow and then lift it all the way up and bring it back down. Lift to the other side and lift bring it back and down and we try to do it five more times each side lift knee to elbow lift it up and bend the knee down and knees down lift back and down up and to the front to the back bring it back and bring it down three keep breathing to your left Two more times. Make sure your shoulder far away from your ears. Last time. Lift down and down. Inhale and exhale down and bring your knees down. Come to tripod position. Take a deep breath. Inhale deeply and exhale deeply. One more time here. Inhale. Shake your hips a little bit here and come back slowly roll back shoulder down very good now from here i want you to slowly now lean on one side open your knees wider and open your finger to the other side eyes and elbow facing to the front shoulder down and try to lift your waist a little bit more squeeze your butt squeeze your inner thighs and pull your belly button in now inhale lift your hips up and exhale bring it down Inhale up and exhale down, squeeze your butt here, lift and come back. And five, four, three, belly button in. And a couple more times, two more times with your own breath. And last time, bring it down and change to the other side. Open your knee and again, eyes on elbow facing to the front. Shoulder far away from your ear, lift your waist a little bit. Inhale and lift your hips up. Exhale, bring it down. And a couple more times with your own breath. Inhale, lift. Exhale, down. 
and lift and bring it back. Inhale, lengthen and come back. Squeeze your butt here. And last time, inhale, lift. Exhale, bring it down. Very good. Now allow yourself to lie down on your, on your back. Now keep your back in neutral here. I want you to open your leg hip width apart. Keep your feet flat, arms along your body and press your shoulder down. Reach your hand toward your heels. Inhale, slowly draw your hips up. Look toward your knees and slowly bring it down. Inhale, lift and exhale down. Make sure you keep your hips balanced. Lift and down. And five more times with your own breath. Squeeze your butt together. Four. Squeeze your inner thighs. Three. Two. Lift. Exhale down. And last time, inhale. Draw your hips up. And from here, I want you to slowly make a little pulse with your hips. Squeeze your butt here. Squeeze your inner thighs. Go up and down. Press your feet down to the mat and keep your legs parallel. Your knees still facing up to the ceiling. And three, two, and one. Slowly draw your hips down and open your arms to 45 degree. Now I want you to inhale. Open your leg wider than the mat. So I put it just next to the side of the mat here. Or you can just keep it wider than your hips if you don't use the mat at home. Inhale, lift your hips up. And chin to chest, look toward your knees. Now from here, I want you to slowly rotate your hips to your left. Come back to your right. Bring it back. And three, two, to the other side. And last time, to the other side, back to the center. Slowly draw the hips down. And from here again, each body brighter time. Up, squeeze your inner thighs, squeeze your back together and bring it back and lift and bring it back and five four three squeeze your butt two last time lift and from here i want you to slowly move your feet close to each other now close your knees close your heels and open and close your heels and open. We try to feel like something in between your knees here and try to press your knees. Just imagining if we have a ball in between the knees and just squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze in the thighs, squeeze your butt. And we try to do it 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Press your shoulder down, your arms down and don't hold your breath here. Two. And last time, bring your leg open, hip width apart, slowly draw your hips down, shut your hips from left to right. You really feel your butt here. Okay, and after that, I want you to slowly draw your hips up. Now from here, pull your belly button in and lift your heels up. And still keep your heels up here. I want you to bring your hips lower to the middle, not all the way down, but to the middle and all the way up. Now to the middle and all the way up. Squeeze your butt. And we try to do it 10 more times with your own breath. Nine, eight, belly button in. Seven, six, five, four. Keep breathing, don't hold your breath. Make sure you still keep your legs parallel and your heels up. Engage your core as much as possible to support your lower back. Three, two, and last time, lift, slowly bring it down. Oh my God, I really feel in my butt now. Now bring your legs up to 90 degree and bend your knees to 90 degree and then activate your feet here. Hands along your body, slowly inhale, bring your leg down, keep the same angle on your knee and then bring it up to the other side. Activate your feet, bring it back. Make sure you keep your back neutral here and to the other side, come back. And six more times with your own breath. Five. To your left. Four. To your left. To your left. And last time. To your left. And bring it back. Now from here, I want you to slowly press your arms and your shoulder down. Inhale. 
and next to bring both legs down and come back. So we want to work your butt more here. So I don't want you to bring your leg all the way down to the mat. Just come down to the middle and come back, squeeze your butt. Squeeze and squeeze very good. And now from here, five, four, three, squeeze in the thighs. Sitting bone together. And last time, down and up. Now from here, bring your one knee further away from the chest and one knee, try to bring it closer to the chest. Now open your leg 45 degree. Inhale, open, come back, open, and bring it back. 10, 9, Eight, activate your feet. Seven, six, work your outer side of the butt. And three, two, keep breathing, activate your feet here. And last time, change to the other side. Open, close, open, and close. And five, I mean, eight more times with your own breath. Keep breathing. Seven, six, and five, four, pull your belly button in, press your shoulder down, and last time, close, and bring your legs together, and then bring both legs down, shake your hips from left to right, now last movement here, open your leg, your feet apart, hands along your body, inhale, tuck your tailbone forward, and draw your hips up, keep your hip balance here, press your arms down, and slowly bring it down, each vertebra at a time, and come back. Squeeze your butt here and lift it down. And five more times with your own breath. Four. Squeeze your butt and contract your pelvic floor muscle when you lift it up and bring it down. Three. And keep breathing here. Two. And last time. Inhale, lift and hold it here. Inhale. Squeeze your butt, squeeze your inner thigh, contract your pelvic floor muscle, belly button in, and five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly release and slowly bring your hips down, each foot to your at a time. Shake your hips from left to right, and then hug your knee to your chest. Take a deep breath, inhale, rotate your ankle if you need to, and slowly lean on one side to sitting position. And that's the workout today. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you tomorrow. Bye.